Welcome back to Let's Play Drawn to Life SpongeBob Edition. So, we've drawn our little hero here. Yeah, I've seen it, man. I've been checking out this whole time, and for some reason, some things are kind of weird looking, like that black line on his right leg. Anyways, yes, very good job. This is going to be our hero. Of course, we're going to go to, presumably, to Krusty Krab, going to the owning screen to build, uh, occasionally buy new things we can use. Doodle Pants. Or not Doodle Bob, Doodle Pants. There we go. He does, in fact, have pants. So I'm guessing Krusty Krab's gonna be like this shop in the original Drawn to Life. It's all coming back to me a little bit. Oh no! Oh, I, I didn't help. Sorry. Patrick has kind of a delayed reaction too. Stop with the backflips, man! Shoo! I can't tell if it's a good or a bad thing that the screen is so, such a low, low resolution in this game. Look at that top. What? Oh, I did, it doesn't have my entire head. Why does it not have my entire head in it? Okay. Okay, B is jump. Okay, we can still do the stomp. So it seems like we play mostly the same. We attack. Okay. I can tell. Yeah, okay. So it's pretty much like the original Drawn to Life, it feels like. It's just with Spongebob plot and visuals, I think. Yeah, and they in fact called it Butt Smash in the first game too, I think. If I remember right, I may be wrong. Maybe someone called it that at one point. Maybe not someone in the game, I don't know. Oh, we also crawl. Oh man, look at that! Prone. It is kind of awkward seeing the character in such low resolution after it was already so shoddily made and so aliased. But uh, science pressing a simple button is the most satisfying. Do we need to worry about the time limit in any capacity? Why not? Aha! Don't tell me what to do, game. So these coins will let us buy things. Oh, that didn't actually hurt me at all. Interesting. I don't think. Unless the hearts disappear instead of, like, losing their color. No, of course. Things with the trackpad are always fun. And I expected to have to do things with the trackpad, just not a lot. Hopefully it won't get too bad. There we go. Oh no! So is that... Okay, that just gives me money. Oh, it actually allows me to progress. Good. I have to say, the background in this area actually looks really nice. Surprised. That was interesting. So yeah, it's not like your creation ever really gets like a personality in any capacity for him, right? Based off the first game, but whatever. I'm curious as to how much they improve certain things like that in the second game, which really makes me want to play it now. We'll see if I end up playing... Ah, but the first game has a pretty decent length because it's some kind of RPG thing. Oh, this game might be the same too. I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting myself into here. I don't really think about that. It's just gonna be a pencil. Well, how about... Okay, you know what? One second. I have next to me, um, kind of next to me, a pencil I like a lot. It's way too high detail to draw here, but it's something called a Kurotoga. It's made by Mitsubishi, I think? It's a really nice pencil. This is like a $15 pencil. Imported from Japan and all that. So I'm gonna draw this. And this, what I draw here is gonna be the only visual reference you guys ever get for this pencil. I'm gonna set it on my keyboard and I'm gonna draw it from here. Um, I guess we're gonna wanna draw it diagonally though. I hope you guys like it like long sessions of me drawing things, because that's kind of what this game is. That's kind of what you guys signed up for, so you only have yourselves to blame. And my lack of uh, interesting content. Um, how about... Let me erase that a little bit. Hmm. Let's do this. Just make it longer. Uh, looks like we- do we have other palettes to use? Yeah, okay. And something with lots of grays. We have a lot of palettes. We can still buy more, I believe, later on. 
Yeah, I'll just leave it as it is. I already have a couple. Well, by that I mean I have one, but it's all I need. Mostly. Fill this in. Alright. Now we have a slightly thinner, like, silver bit. I never really expected my Let's Play career to ever involve trying to draw a pencil like this. Like, sitting here with a pencil on my laptop in front of me. Oops, oh crap. But I try to draw. But life takes you strange places sometimes. It's gonna be the most of the pencil. I don't wanna like over represent it though. It's actually more about how I cap the pencil. I'll leave it at that. Okay. And I, I am simplifying this design a little bit. It's a really nice mechanical pencil. Um, so then we have another white section. Oh no! Most certainly not. gonna stay with me forever. I'm gonna be I need to be proud of what I create here. It gets a little bit wider here. This is like um well this is kind of the grip of the pencil, it's the preparation for the grip of the pencil essentially. And it's, it's that thing actually has metal grip, which is Kind of interesting to see. Um, let's let's just use the gray. Kind of simplifying the colors here, but that's kind of to be expected, I think. So let's start with the tip tip over. No, let's start with the tip over here too. Just make sure we don't mess this up. gets the recognition it deserves. Wait a minute. For some reason I'm messing up my things in my head. There we go. So uh let's get rid of this one bit. Let me just mirror that on the other side. Except that can't really happen because I messed that up. Oh, because do I have an odd and even number? No, I, I have a good number. What happened here? Ah, that's what. Darn it. The tip should be here, I think. Now you just draw this whole thing again, basically. Okay. I think I should be able to work from here. Um, something like this. That's really a misrepresentation of what that looks like. Just make it a little bit more gradual. I think it should be okay. Oh, not a race. Something like that. I'm more okay with that. Okay. Fill these parts with white. And one last touch for the grip. The grippy part. Okay. That's basically my pencil. 
I almost lost this thing yesterday. I was actually really ticked off. I thought I had lost it. Because this thing is not cheap. Okay. I am. I do have something beautiful. Thank you for acknowledging that. It's a very nice pencil. It has this weird thing where it actually rotates the lead automatically as you write. It's a unique pencil. Oh, look at that. There we go. To the power of Kuru Toga, I shall be resurrected. Oh, I did it. Please stop. So I guess if I... I think you can redo levels as well. So if I come back to this level, I'll be able to redraw this. Actually, I don't remember. I think I might be able to draw things again from the hub in some capacity or something like that. Okay, so I think, guess that's already been activated. Um, I see. Off in the bottom right. Can I do anything with my stylus to mess with him? No. Okay. He's not bothering me just yet. It's an interesting idle animation. Oh, I need to do both? Oh man, that's gonna be... an experience. Oh no! Oh no! He's gonna be really small though. So much time is spent drawing things. Okay. Um... Okay, I have an idea. There. Okay, it's it's along the bottom. <laughs> I have stuff drawn along the bottom line. I can't actually see it. Oh, not a racer. Okay, I have things drawn along the bottom line that I can't actually see. Oh uh, no, no. Okay. Now I zoom in once, once more. And zoom in further yet. And now... We'll start drawing like I intended. This is, this is turning out way worse than I was supposed to. <laughs> way, way worse. It's supposed to be like a mini-me. That's kind of what turned out. Oh, no, we're not done yet. No, I forgot to do the base color. Whoops. Uh, zoom in. Oh, darn it. Oh, so I need to change the palette. Was it this one? No. That one? I believe it was. Just gonna fill this in real quick and then I'll be alright. Oh no! It's like MS Paint. It's a new kind of MS Paint adventures. It won't let me erase things down here. Darn it. Okay, it gets erased afterwards. Okay, so now you look on the top screen that those bomb bits got erased. Okay, so that'll be that for this episode. See you guys.